Because ultimately that's what it boils down to. If you're a Muslim, you're a follower of Muhammad. Yes, there's beliefs about the Quran and, and about Allah and all that, sure, but you're following Muhammad to get to those beliefs. When you're a Christian, you follow Jesus. So the life of Jesus and the life of Muhammad are very important in these conversations. So he's the role model. Yeah. Right, what yeah. did he yeah. wear? How, I mean, the reason why Muslims will often grow their beard to fist length is because Muhammad's beard was that length. He used to shave his mustache, so many Muslims will shave their mustaches. They, they wear their pants at a certain height. The more traditional Wahhabi sort of stalwart Muslims will do that because Muhammad was known to not let his pants drag below his ankles. And so to the nth degree, devout Muslims are trying to emulate Muhammad because he is the perfect exemplar of what it means to be Muslim. And so his life is extremely important for the average Muslim. When it came to Jesus, I was extremely skeptical of the Gospel of John, for example, because John's Gospel, according to critical scholars now, not according to Christians, but according to critical scholars, John's Gospel is written between 60 and maybe at the latest 70 years after Jesus' death. And so I was critical of John's Gospel. The first time anyone wrote anything about Muhammad's life was 150 years after his death. <laughs> 